Hello. Hello. My friend Joanna. <laughs> How are you? I'm good, I'm good. We're just talking about coffee, coffee breath and yeah, stuff. Yeah, because I've never drunk coffee before in my I life. I find that weird. I find that bizarre. But then it's fine, each to their own. I find the whole co- like hot chocolate drinking as well weird. Hot chocolate's great with a shot of caramel. But Very question, nice. would you drink the hot chocolate in the morning as well as the evening? Well, I would only have one a day because it's like quite a lot. Like it's very thick and chocolatey. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Yeah. So, yeah. If someone offered to you have, like to have it in the morning, would you? No, I have tea in the morning. Okay. It's, yeah, it's not hot. Hot chocolate is not for the morning. That's fine because there's a lot of people that drink hot chocolate in the morning as well. And I just, I can't seem to. Mm. If it's the winter, yeah. like maybe a cold day. Like a nice hot chocolate to warm yeah, you up. Yeah, like the snow outside, yeah. Christmasy. I get it, that's mm-hmm. the vibe. Yeah, yeah. anyway, <laughs> we've actually games together before. We have. On my YouTube. Yeah. I think we played Fortnite. Did we play Fortnite? Fortnite and there was another one. We played Fortnite, we played The Sims, which we're gonna talk about in a bit, and we played Crazy Taxi. Yes. What game? <laughs> Crazy Taxi. <laughs> I'm obsessed because I used to play um, Simpsons Road Rage. Oh yeah. When I was younger. So I used to love it because you kind of feel like you get that freedom of just doing what the hell you yeah. want. Because in life you can't, you obviously can't do that in your car, can you? You get done for it. But I just loved it. Yeah, Crazy Taxi's a good one. Yeah, and I, you, I do purposely run like run people over, as you saw. I mean, if they get in your way then, and because the, the concept is you have to deliver the customer within the time limit, otherwise you don't get like a tip or yeah. your fare. So, I mean, but I do get go, in the way. The only them. thing is I go against rules. I always, whenever I'm playing a game, I go against the rules. I feel like it, when you stick to me, it becomes boring. So I kind of feel like the whole time thing, even with Fortnite, the whole storm going on, I just feel like I ignore the storm, just get on with my business, you, you mean, know? But you can't ignore the storm because if the storm, closes in on you on the circle then you're gonna die yeah but then you swim away you run you leg it right yeah okay. and then you just hope, hope so for the best. your your for, your form of gaming is don't actually follow the rules of the game <laughs> and just don't try die. and stay alive yeah and if you do die just start again start again and do the same thing yeah okay so have you ever completed a game then never or, well ever Maybe follow the rules. Even <laughs> with <laughs> Simpsons Road Rage. You can't, there's not even levels to Simpsons Road Rage, is there? I didn't play Road Rage. I played Hit and Run. No, the Simpsons one's good. It just, you, like, it's just great. I love a cartoon. Were you talking about two different games or the same one? Probably. The Simpsons Road Rage and the Simpsons Hit and Run. Because I've, like, Simpsons Hit and Run was where you, you have to do tasks within the time limit and you're yeah. driving around. No, oh no, so this is Simpsons oh, Road Rage. I think you just things. road rage the whole place love out. It. Yeah, love that. <laughs> Have you played GTA before? Yes. Oh, no, think... wait, quick question. Okay. Call of Duty and GTA, is that two different things? Right. Thanks for coming, Joanna. <laughs> Thanks for coming to my gaming <laughs> podcast. Wait, so have you, right, let's break this down. Call of Duty <laughs> and Grand Theft Auto, are they two, two different things? They're two different games. Okay, now that you put it like that, yeah. Yeah. I haven't played GTA, Call of Duty though. I became obsessed for about five months. Did you? Yeah, borderline, like, I think I was addicted. Which one was it? Was it Warzone? Was it the zombies one? Zombies, uh, yeah. But the thing is, the only problem that I don't get is with boys, right, or and, and female gamers, when they game, they're so in the zone. I feel like I'm just so like distracted and I feel like I just get heart palpitation when the zombies come up to you. Yeah, I'm like It that. just, it really, really like, I feel like they're in my house. I think with Call of Duty, once you get used to, like once you play it and you actually get good, then yeah. you're in the zone. But yeah. for me anyway, I'm terrible and I'm just flustered the whole time. This is the thing. And the controller, I think, you know, we have to look around and move at the same time. That is just, uh, maybe I'm not good at multitasking, but that sends me over the edge. Yeah. It's, do you know what it is for me with Call of Duty? I'm getting shot at, but I don't know where from. Yeah. Like the people come out of nowhere. I don't know how people spot them because I watch it on stream and I'm watching and they're like spotting people from a mile off and shooting them. I'm like, oh, well, I can't even shoot someone when they're right in front of me. I'm this still thing. ending in the gulag. And then they, then they hide, I'm always in the gulag. I've only made it out of the Gulag twice. No, I'm, that's that's like a home to me. Gulag is my home. <laughs> it is. <laughs> I may as well live just there. camp out yeah. there. Yeah. But no, I did get through a stage where like I was playing three hours straight mm-hmm. and I did really well with the zombies. But then I just get to a point where I'm like, I can't take it. I feel like I'm oversensitized when I'm playing. Is, yeah. that, is that like a weird thing? No, I think it's overwhelming. Yeah, it is. But the zombies- Sensory overloads, too much going on. The sounds, the yeah. groans from the zombies. It is literally, not okay. <laughs> the groans from the zombies. 
Well, fun fact for those listening, right? We, when did we meet? Well, we'd met briefly at some boxing thing. Yeah. But we properly met when we went to LA for the KSI Logan Paul that was boxing fight, which was literally <laughs> one of the best trips ever. And we became friends from then. But before this, I had started my YouTube and I was oh, yeah. thinking of ways that I could get people interested in watching my Sims content. So I was like, hmm, like what can I do and make it more like, applicable to what's going on at the moment and love island was about to start yes. so i was like do you know what? i'll make the villa i'm really good at building the sims <laughs> i'll get like images up of the love island villa and create and what as accurate replica as i can of that so i did that great and then when all the contestants went in i made all of the contestants and then casa and more happened which is when you mm. you went into love island so joanna joined Love Island in Casa Amor. So I updated them all. I was like, oh, I'll just add all the Casa Amor lot into it as well. So before I even knew Joanna, which I still think is really creepy. It's really creepy. Because I had Ovi on the podcast as well before and I too had made him on Love Island. <laughs> and I've met a few of the contestants now from my work. Mm. And it seems very creepy to go up to someone and say, oh, by the way, I've made you in The Sims before. No, it's great. I was like, this is this is fabulous. Like, so, let me see. Yeah, it. and you came on my channel when we were, when we'd met and became friends, and we did a makeover of your sim. Yeah, but do you know what the weirdest thing is? Is the fact that you put my personality in. Did, oh, yeah, I remember this. I'd done it quite accurate, hadn't and I? And it was the, and bear in mind, like on the show, wasn't my personality wasn't shown to yeah. the full extent. But you actually got the personality that wasn't shown. You you put it in as a characteristic it's really weird i was like yeah i was like i was like oh my god what, what do you remember what they, what they were again no but i can't like i think i must have just guessed what all of your personalities were it was and great then I got it right and then we changed my to change to a bikini we changed it because i think when you went in the villa you had the short blonde bob yeah and by this time you had the brown dark brown hair yeah and now you're blonde again yeah now i'm blonde again. yeah we'd updated it we need to change it back to blonde we need to go and update it again long and blonde me try and see if I can dig out the archives <laughs> of my Love Island villa. The way you created that villa though, it was to a T. I feel exactly like it took it me about like. four days. Really? Still one of my greatest achievements. I feel like every year I should start tagging ITV and be like, look what I made. A hundred percent. And then hopefully they can, you know. But I changed, the I ch they've changed the villa now. So I need to do another one. I feel like it still looks the same though. It literally looks exactly the same. Yeah. There's this whole thing about, oh, they've changed the Love Island villa. It's just bigger, but exactly the same. The same theme inside as well. Yeah, my so, bedroom. Ha! Huh. The bedroom I made that was, was so accurate. Even like the built the little um, images mm -hmm. behind the beds as well, exactly the same. Yeah, like you got it spot on. That that's called art, you know. Maybe I should start doing it again. Do you know why I stopped? Uh, it's just because I got embarrassed, like ha people knowing that I'd made them and was voicing really? their character in The Sims. No, but it like, I feel like this cool. Okay. I've, and you know, do you know what? Like when people think, say it's weird, but actually they think, oh my God, it's an ego boost. Someone's created me on Sims. True. Guarantee you. That is true. Even well, last well, year, I was next, like, whoa. Next Love Island series. Absolutely. Aren't they doing another one soon? They're doing, a winter, they're doing a winter one again. Yeah. No comment. It's just, it's just, I yeah. I really enjoyed the winter one last time. I like the summer ones only because it gives you like a lead. You, it's like the whole year of waiting for it. When yeah. you've now I got- I don't need two Love Islands in one year, not yeah. gonna lie. I need Big Brother though, but yeah, let's Big what Big you brother. you seem like you wanted to say something. Big Brother, I I, I think I'd go in Big Brother. You've got to do it. If you did, I'd literally be like the happiest person. Like Big Brother would be sick. I feel like I would either be hated or loved though, because I don't know if people would get it. Because I am like I'm not I'm not grumpy all the time, but I am quite a grumpy person. See, I've never seen your grumpiness as like it doesn't ever come across as rude to me. I find okay. it like. You're just very mellow, very chilled. And, and it's mad because a lot of my friends are like hyper like me and like talkative, don't shut up. And sometimes I sit there and think, oh my God, being around you, do I get on your nerves? Because I don't stop talking. No, I like people. I surround myself with people like that. Okay, good. Because I was like, you're so mellow and chill. <laughs> and then I'm just like, I don't stop. It's fine. Balance each other out. Okay. Yes, if you could pick three games, mm -hmm. your three favorite games of all time, yeah. what would you pick? Oh, it's got to be Mario Kart. Okay. Then it's got to be Simpsons Road Rage. Love it. Yeah. And then, do you know what? I am stuck between Call of Duty and Fortnite. One thing I love about Fortnite is just the colours, the thing, you know, you're flying, you've got the, yeah. the DJ booth thingy going off. I like Fortnite because it. it's third person shooting. And for me, when I play first person, I get motion sickness because mm. it's like just too much going on. I see what you mean. 
Yeah, I feel like Fortnite's more fun. Call of Duty is very like- it's, Serious. And it's very like just dirty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I get like Fortnite is all the colors. It's like it happy, really happy. Clean. You can swim a little yeah. bit. Call of Duty is more real world. You're like, in war. Yeah, you're on the front line. Exactly. I'm not ready to be on the front line. I thought, not gonna lie, I thought you were gonna pick Monopoly because I always see you playing Monopoly on yes. your PlayStation. Do, do you know what? I didn't think if that would count. It's a game. Oh like, my god. Anything could be. You could pick a mobile game. Monopoly. Monopoly's number one. Monopoly is, do you know what? I didn't think I'd ever be good at Monopoly, but I manipulate people during the game. So when I'm sitting with my family, you've got to use tactics. Right. You try and play like the good cop, bad cop. Like, I'm here for you. Like, I will help you buy that property. Just lend me that one, you know? Mm. You never give it back to him. You charge him extra. Okay. Yeah. I've seen, I've not played. I used to play Monopoly on the PC, my, my computer, oh, wow. back in like when I was young. So this is what, like early 2000s. Yeah. And it was a great game. I used to love it. But what I never understood is solitaire. Oh, I'm quite good at solitaire. What is the purpose in that game? They have that spider solitaire on a computer. <laughs> no. Yeah. The, I've played that the one solitaire obviously on the computer, yeah. but not, this, what's this spider business? I can't remember the rules of the spider solitaire. But... No, not a bit of me, but honestly, I didn't understand it. And I used to like sit there and act like I knew what I was doing. You know, when you went on the aeroplanes, like the old planes, they used to have the basic games and it was just- <laughs> They still do. I, no, I play kind of like Candy Crush type ones now on a plane. Yeah, but I used to play solitaire on it. And, and you know, when people can see behind, I start pretend I knew what I was doing. So I was clicking them all like, yeah, I know what I'm doing. I'm, an, I'm a pro at this. Didn't have a clue what I was doing. <laughs> Didn't have a clue. So Monopoly is your top one, yeah? <laughs> Absolutely, Monopoly, okay. yeah, it's gotta be. So Monopoly, Simpsons Road Rage, <sighs> and Mario Kart. Maybe Fortnite on top of Mario Kart. Cause I've not played Mario Kart in a very long time. What character do you used to race as in, in Mario Kart? The little princess. Princess Peach. Yeah, her, love her. I like her. She was like the winning one. It was like one. Baby Peach now. They do like oh, the smaller it? characters. Oh, that's cute. But like Little Mario. That's adorable. Little Peach. I love that. Yeah. I'm all for it. I'm Toad, I go as Toad, Toad. in Mario Kart. He's fast, he's very light though. So if you get, if you hit one of the heavier characters, you spin out. That's the only Does thing. With Peach then you don't want well. a heavier one because if they're heavier, they're slower. Yeah. Just can't win really. Well, if you got the skill, then you can maybe we need to game one time yeah i have a quiz for okay. you to do because i want to get to know what type of gamer you are yeah oh no obviously like you didn't know the difference between grand theft auto and call of duty a minute ago but we'll I had move a on moment. from that so for the for the listeners and the viewers to get to know you <laughs> let's do a quiz i've got one uh it's from bino.com oh and it's what type of gamer are you so i've got a series of questions mm -hmm. and then at the end we'll find out what you are Okay, beginner. the first one is, what is your greatest fear? The options are losing, not knowing things, being alone, or you fear nothing. Not knowing anything. Fear of the unknown. Yeah, like 100%. That as well. Okay. What type of character would you choose to be in a game? Would you be a gun slinger? So I'm assuming that's like Call of Duty vibes. A fearless explorer, a helpful elf, or an assassin? I feel like I'm I'm in between a fearless explorer and the assassin, because I just want to kill everyone. Okay. But then I want to just explore. So what one would you pick? I went for assassin, not gonna lie, because I love Assassin's Creed. <sighs> Maybe fearless explorer, only on the basis that when I'm like just playing, I'm just like, let's just explore. Yeah. Screw the game, you know? Okay. Yeah, because you don't follow the rules. Yeah. Do you? Okay. No rules. Next one is, how do you most like to prepare for gaming? So there is, by analyzing my previous stats, God, no. uh, I don't prepare, I just go with the flow. By messaging all my gamer friends to tell them that I'm online or I arm myself to the teeth. The second one. So you, you, don't, have a, you don't prepare, you just go with the flow. Oh uh, yeah, just go with yeah. the flow, don't prepare, you know, hope for the best. Like if I was going to war, I'd just, I'm going in there first. Okay, Who so knows you wouldn't what armor happen? up, but go with the flow, yeah. I like that. Might come out alive, might not. <laughs> What is your favorite day of the year? And I feel like the answers to this uh, question show the age of whoever made this, right? <laughs> so what is your favorite day of the year? The first day of school, the last day of school, every day or none? We don't have a favorite day. I don't think I have a favorite day. Really? I feel like every day is like a new adventure for you. So that should be exciting in itself. Yeah. So maybe every day is my favorite every day. Every day or yeah. none? Yeah. Okay, that's the most positive option let's every go over day. every day because every day i wake up and i'm like right it's going to be a good day today and even if it's not i will sit there and think what was good about today okay 
I like that. That's really cute of me. Wow. Good Who um, am I? positive affirmation. Yeah. It must be the sofa. Yeah. Can I just say, guys, I actually dressed for the sofa. No, I was going to mention this because you've put in a lot of effort there. Yeah. I wore my NSYNC top today. Love that. One of the best bands ever. I, they sing, um, it's tearing up my heart. When I What's the other one? I know that one, but there's another bye, one. Bye, bye, bye. Yeah, and there's another one. Every little thing I do. They the, sing girlfriend. Why don't you be my girlfriend? What about, do, are they the ones with the hoods? Fur and the hoods? No, that was E17. Never mind. Yeah. Sim- similar. <laughs> but there's not anything in E17. I feel like I live similar. under a rock. Should we mention the game that we played at yours? And the fact that I genuinely think I, I don't know where I've been all my life. Like everyone knew all the oh, questions. Oh yeah, so we had uh, some drinks at my new flat. Yeah. And we were playing a game and it was, you you were in groups mm-hmm. and the, the questions span across the 90s, the <laughs> noughties and the tens. And you were dead weight on our team, not gonna lie. I applauded the efforts that you and our friend Sev and tape it in. Yeah. It was like, I just don't know where I've been my whole life. I don't know names, I don't know celebrities, I don't know facts, I do, nothing. I feel like I have a lot of useless information in my brain. No, but that useless To useless do with came... celebrity gossip. <laughs> no, but this was good, it came to some use because you were doing great. Yeah. So I had to point it out, guys, I'm actually useless. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what is your ideal party? Is it a celebration of my success, a surprise party, or uh, one one everyone introduces themselves or you don't like parties i feel like i know what one yours is is it the last <laughs> one <laughs> i don't like parties it's so funny um could you read them out okay okay a celebration of your success yeah a surprise party one where everyone introduces themselves or you don't like parties a surprise party because i've never been thrown a surprise party i don't think i've ever been given a surprise I don't think, I was about to say I haven't, but do you remember a few years ago when my friend Sev mm-hmm. organized a birthday meal, what I thought was between me and her. And then I, oh, I, yes. I arrived and it was you and Ethan were there as well. That was really cute. I that was a really that. cute meal. <gasps> I love that it was Amazonico. That was great. Yeah, nice surprise meal. And Ethan tried every single drink on the menu. Ethan, I think, Wild. took the challenge to just try and get as most drunk as possible. Like no one challenged him. He'd done his own challenge and yeah. we just watched. <laughs> We sat and just watched. (laughs) Yeah, good times. Okay, next one is, that was an advert, the next one. Okay, the next one, favorite flavor of crisps? And I feel like this is a great question. You can tell a lot about someone by their flavor of crisp choice. So the first one, salt and vinegar, barbecue, cheese and onion, don't pick cheese and onion, or prawn cocktail. Oh, you like to swear? Yes, you can. Shit, that's hard. It is hard. I'm obsessed with, Salt and vinegar and prawn cocktails for me. 100%. But do you know what? I have been switching. I've been craving salt recently. Salt, salt, whatever you what, say. Not ready salted? Crisps. No, okay. yeah. But salt and vinegar, because you get, it's like eating fish and chips, but you're having, <laughs> it's like eating chips for fish and chips. Yeah, I love but, salt and vinegar. Yeah, let's go salt and vinegar. Okay. Because crisps are my favorite. I love crisps. Crisps Same. are like my life. They're my weakness. Giant yeah. what's it? Flaming hot. You showed hot. me them. Mm. And then pickled onion monster munch. Wow. Yeah. Do you know what with those though? You can't eat them on a train. Like I feel so rude because they stink. stink. Yeah. Do you know what I used to do though? A little tactic for anyone listening is if you can't pick between a flavor, buy a big packet, open it up, get smaller flavors that you're craving as well. Whack them all in, the big one, shake it, eat it. Is it good? But then all surely all the flavors no, merge you, into one. You know what one's one. Okay. That's a good idea yeah, actually. It's great. I like I'm getting that. really excited. Okay. Complete this sentence. I like completing games quickly, taking my time and looking around or destroying everything. I w- I've left out number three because it's literally the worst joke of my life. It <laughs> says, I like big butts and I cannot lie. So I'm just <laughs> removing that from submissions. Okay. So completing games quickly. Yeah. Taking my time and looking around or destroying everything. Taking my time and looking around. You've got to get a feel for the area, the island, whatever you're on, the war zone, yeah. you know? I like that because I don't like missing things. Yeah. I don't want to miss like a hidden egg or something around 100%. the corner. There's actually a game on PS5. I can't remember what it's called. And you basically, you are, you're this weird creature and you like swim and you basically have to go. It's, it's like the most, if you're really a really chilled person, you just want to like 
just look at stuff and visualize stuff. You can go under, like under the sea and mm. there's like, always like trees and everything. And then you find like these glowy bits and you pick them up and oh my God. I Is it like, the game you get when you first get the PlayStation 5? Probably, yeah. Are you a little white robot thing? No, oh, okay. no robot. It's like you're like a sea monster, but it's like a pretty one. I like that. Yeah. Okay, what's your right. favorite gaming reward? So if you're playing a game, what's your favorite reward? Is it extra points? Secret clues that reveal things, virtual food and drink I can share with my friends, or weapons? Probably weapons. Okay. Because when I pick it up with no struggle, I'm like, yeah, I'm, I'm the man. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Question number nine. What color are you most attracted to? Gold, because it's the color of winners. Green, because it's the color of an unexplored forest. Okay. Oh, Rainbow, because you like all of them equally, or black, like my heart. Probably green. Okay. That gives me really therapeutic vibes. Forest. I think I went for rainbow. I like a lot of colors. Okay. What yeah. do you do on a sunny day? Oh. Improve my skills oh, whilst the others slack. <laughs> Such <laughs> a dramatic quiz. <laughs> Literally. Explore a new game. Forget about gaming for the day and go and see my friends or lurk in the dark. That last one's creepy. Yeah, I know. That last one is yeah wild. what would you do um i would say forget about gaming and go see my friends yeah, yeah it's, it's a, a sunny, sunny day. day yeah go get a tan go chill outside. You know, okay this is your D. your oh. result is you are an adventurer i love Here that we are. I you're am. an adventurer a curious soul you like exploring new worlds and learning as your bag nice work i'm taking that one home with me yeah yeah an explorer i'm gonna frame that do you know what, my bio on Instagram is gonna have Explorer now. Explorer gamer. Yeah. What type of gamer are you? Explorer. Explorer, I'm I an like explorer. That. Like, don't mess with me, I'm an explorer. <laughs> like, I will come for you. <laughs> so I was researching and these aren't my, <clears throat> this is not my list, disclaimer, before we get into this. The, the various lists from different websites and also just from Google. So I got the list of the, in quotations, hottest gaming characters. Okay. So video game characters, these are the ones that people have said are the most attractive. We're gonna react to them. Okay. So the thing, isn't it? Some people do find the characters definitely good looking. Yeah, so it's a mixture of male and female wow. characters. The it's first like one, British. they've put in Super Mario from Super Mario Odyssey. And they even <laughs> said this isn't put in as a joke because then this was their um, justification for Mario. He saves Princess Peach a lot, like she's the damsel in distress and he yeah. always comes to the rescue and helps her out and saves mm -hmm. her. And they said, he's a, he's a lovely Italian man. And then I thought maybe like Davide from oh, Love cute. Island, okay. you know what I mean? I get it. Um, and he seemed, he appears to be quite romantic from what we see in the games. Yes. And I think I've put, you know, on TikTok at the moment, there's a trend like he's the leader of the group. Right, okay. I've I feel like this. Mario is the leader of the group. Okay. So you've got a group of like guys, they say one of them's the leader and he like- He's the leader. Takes charge. I don't know if he would be. Mario's definitely the leader. What are you talking about? I feel like he's a bit like, I feel like he In could, the game, he's the leader. But I feel like he'd be quite dumb. If I met him in real life, he'd be, he'd be a bit like, mm. do you know what I mean? I feel like no. no. I feel like he's the he he leads the pack and he's always the one that goes to save Peach. Mm. He's got Luigi who's his brother yeah. who he has to bring around with him. No, but even that is just like do it on your own. Why you got Luigi with you? <laughs> <laughs> do you know what I mean? <laughs> you are brutal. So no, we're not we, Mario shouldn't be in this list. You're I don't think he should it. be in this list. I don't think he's attractive. Okay. Also he's quite short, isn't he? Yeah, but there's nothing wrong with short. If it was in my list, I'd probably prefer taller. Okay, yeah. fair enough. The next one is Geralt, who is from The Witcher. I, I don't know seen. if you've seen. So there's a game, The Witcher series, okay. uh, but there's also a series now on Netflix and Henry Cavill plays The Witcher. Okay. And it's like, I haven't got a, f a photo of this one to show you, but he is quite well renowned for being like people find him quite attractive oh, wow. yeah so basically his what he does is he's got like long white hair mm. and he goes around and basically slays monsters and that's oh that his is thing. attractive yeah but he is quite like a closed book he doesn't give much away he's not very like emotional he's very mysterious oh. but he's a good fighter and he does well with the ladies oh nice yeah, so I've not seen a picture of him but by his characteristics I get it because you know right this doesn't sound really weird but you know that Shrek as much as he's an ogre his personality and the way he saves, you know, Fiona. Yeah. Is well, that's the concept of the movie, isn't it? Inspirational. Like, 
don't judge a book by its cover. <laughs> onions he's have very layers. very caring person deep down. Onions have layers, you know. Onions have layers. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Okay, the next one is Lara Croft, who is from Tomb Raider. Okay. I've got a little photo of her here. She's got been. Is that who? Is that the geezer? From no, that's a different one we're going to come to. Oh, him. okay. Yeah, so this is Lara Croft yeah, from she's Tomb Raider. It. Very highly rated. I think she was number one across a lot of the lists. Wow. Of the females. But, but do you know what it is because of her? Like, not going to lie. Back in the day, anyway, when I was really young, PlayStation 1 times she had like the way they built the graphics wasn't like great yeah. she had these massive <laughs> triangle Tits. boobs and literally like that's kind of what she was famous for which is not great yeah like, looking back on it but yeah she basically was like the the action figure with massive boobs oh wow but now they've actually changed what she looks like so she doesn't have the big boobs anymore like they've made it more in proportion like they're like, not trying just a normal, shape. like yeah just exactly normal. doesn't angelina jolie play her yeah she did so now it's changed but yeah so i feel like it, it all ties in yeah do you know what when when angelina jolie when they made the first tomb raider movie that's exactly how i imagine lara croft to look yeah, like yeah a hundred percent so now when i think of lara croft i just think of angelina jolie and that's why she's rated so highly yeah because imagine is... this so right you gotta think if Channing Tatum was a character in a film, mm. which he is, but a cartoon. He is Magic Mike or... If you put that together and I looked at, a, you know, an animation and was like, okay, that's, that's you know, yeah. Channing Tatum, and I knew it was him, I'd be like, he's more good looking. Does that make sense? Probably not. I kind of get what you, the point you're trying yeah. to make. Yeah. So if, if Lara Croft was Channing Tatum... <laughs> <laughs> Joanne, at this point, I'm so confused. If Lara Croft was Channing Tatum, yeah, I'd find it attractive because I know that the character that's played in the film is Channing Tatum. Okay, yeah, I kind of get. So it's like it's like Henry Cavill playing Geralt from The Witcher. Like now, when I think of The Witcher, I think of Henry Cavill. Playing exactly. Okay. You see, I get you. Yeah, okay. on the same page. We got there in the end. <laughs> so the next one is a character from GTA Four. Uh huh. It's called uh, Nico Bellic, who is an ex-soldier from Eastern Europe. And he was based in the Liberty City, city, which is New York, basically. Yeah. So this is him. He... I've seen him. Yeah, you've seen him before. Not attractive. Oh, so you don't agree with the people. Do you know who should take his place? Ash from Pokemon. Oh, okay. So yeah, you can give your own submissions for the list. Yeah, Ash, Ash from, from Pokemon. Yeah. Okay. He was hot. Like he literally, the way he looked like, looked after Pikachu and everything like that, he was just like- Driven. Yeah. Motivated. And, like he was like the leader of the pack. Okay. So yeah, screw Mario, put Ash there. He's sensational. He was like, oh my God. Yeah. I used to think I was Misty. Cause she had the red hair and like when I was younger, my hair was proper ginger. See? So I was missing. That's really cute. Yeah. So you literally are Pokemon. Apparently so. Yeah. The next person <laughs> is Chun-Li, who is from Street Fighter. So this is Chun-Li. I don't know if you've seen her before. She also comes up very highly rated. I think I have. Yeah, so Chun-Li, she was always part of Street Fighter, even back in the day. She's famous because she's got these big strong legs and her I can't remember the, the actual name of her special move, but basically she can kick really, really fast. Stunning. And she's actually like stronger than some of the male characters as that's, well. That's more like it. That's yeah. what I like to hear. She inspires me to go to the gym. Yeah, yeah. there you go. Leg day. Love that, leg day. Chun-Li. Chun-Li, this is what, this one's for you. Yeah, Nicki Minaj did the Chun-Li song. Oh God, she did, didn't she? It's all about Chun-Li. See, Chun-Li, you are the woman. <laughs> Next one, and uh, it's about the time of the podcast where I mention my favorite game ever. It's Final Fantasy VII. So the next character is called Tifa Lockhart. She is also a fighter. Yeah. She has like these electric gloves that she can put on and she can, like she's punching, but she's just really, really good at it. Yeah. Uh, this is what she looks like, Tifa. Oh, she looks cool. Yeah, she's really cool. Yeah. And she's more like, she's not a damsel in distress character. She's like proper, I don't need help from proper any of the men. Bird. Not even that, but she's just like independent woman. Yeah, I like strong. this. Yeah. See, I'll accept that being in there. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. In the top, was it top five? Was that top five? I think it was just a top, a list of- A list, yeah. I'd Googled basically like what people class as apparently the most attractive. I just can't believe Ash is in there. I'm actually deeply offended. Wow. Ash has got to be in there. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I have to tell my sister this, she's gonna be fuming. <laughs> <laughs> right, what I like to do is 
build so we're going to build basically your ideal video game so imagine you didn't have any constraints of money or the team to build the game okay. or anything literally like money wasn't an object you could do whatever you wanted yeah. so we, we're going to build build your ideal video game mm -hmm. so first of all let's talk about where it would be set okay. so would it be in on planet earth could it be somewhere made mm -hmm. up would it be in space where would you like to have it set i feel like in like a jungle like a rainforest okay yeah i feel like they're cool and it's like you can swing from trees and it's pretty but you've also got a muddy floor you know, there's lots of, of different things to explore as well textures yeah there's stuff. like flowers yeah different animals different oh, wow. foods guys rivers yeah Do you I know like what I mean that. yeah and we can incorporate some of that gonna copy some of you know the ps5 game mm -hmm. with the trees and yeah underwater features there's this is horizon wow. forbidden west and it's kind of base well I've only played the first level but the first part anyway but it was all kind of that yeah like jungle I think that, yeah, I think that, that would be the location. Very tranquil. Yeah. Okay. So who is the main character? What kind of character would you have? You. You can, <laughs> you can be the main, it's your game. So. I just mimed me. No, I feel like, you know, like avatar characters. Yeah. Yeah, that would look quite cool. Basically, I'm copying other things. Basically, guys, what you were making is avatar. <laughs> Basically. You're just making avatar into a video game. <laughs> I'll get done for copyright. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, avatar characters. Um, maybe we'll change their color just so it's not exactly the same. Okay, switch it up a little bit. Maybe to like, like pink. Okay, pink. Pink, pink avatar characters. Yeah. What would your, what would the name of your character be called? Like your main character? Oh, God. Oh, this is hard. Maybe, do you know what? Anytime I name something of mine, I either come up with Derek or Susie. <laughs> I don't know Wait, why. So I'm sorry. <laughs> of all the names you could have picked out there, the like Derek and Susie. <laughs> yeah. I've Very my, British names though. You're going... Yeah, my car's called Susie and my plant is called Derek. Derek's been with me for a few years now. Really? My plant's yeah. called Michael Scott from The Office. Really? Yeah. And you think Derek's bad? No, because Michael Scott is from The Office, which is one of the greatest TV shows ever. Love so The makes Office. Sense. But you've just given it two names. You've got, I've got Water Michael Scott. That's a lot. Yeah, but it, like, Michael Scott's a legend. So. He is, to be fair. Yeah. But Derek, however. Yeah, right. Susie. And um, let's go with Susie. Okay. okay. And I feel like Susie, she's mysterious. So you know? you've got, you're in the, you're in the rainforest and you, you're an avatar <laughs> called Su Susie. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cool. She's living her best life. She's loving it. Remember, onions have layers. <laughs> it is true, and yeah. What would the mission, so what, what is the concept of the game? Like the main purpose and storyline, what would it be? Ah, uh, okay, so another copied idea. So I love the film Free Guy, and I feel like the idea is to live freely and do what you want. Okay. And that's what mine would be, like, <clears throat> like, because I don't like following rules. Free Guy was the one with Ryan Reynolds. Love it, yeah. And uh, wait, the end of Free Guy, because they're ba it's based in a city, the whole thing. And at the end of Free Guy, they go back to the original base game, the original designer's design. Yeah. And it was actually a rainforest set up. So I don't know if you've subconsciously thought of this world based on the end of Free Guy. Because <laughs> there's all these flying animals with the leaves and- But there is a city as well. In the middle of it. Yeah. Oh, like a rainforest It's thing. like a city and there's like rainforest bits yeah. as well. It's very weird, very confusing. But I would say do absolutely anything you want. And maybe you can choose levels that have like, or choose a sort of certain mode that has like levels that you can work towards. If you're a gamer and you want to make sure that like, you know, you've got something to work towards. Yeah. Or if you're someone like me, you can just freely stroll around, you know. Because in, in Grand Theft Auto, obviously your game is very different from it, but you can have free play, do what you want. Yeah. And you can pick and choose when you want to dip into a mission and... You've got to have them, them options, otherwise you're only tailoring yourself to one audience. So we mm -hmm. want to make this game as successful as we can. Yeah, it's you true. know. Okay, I That's like that. That's great, isn't it? What is the game going to be called? The name of your game. Oh, right. Avatar. Um, <laughs> Avatar Free Guy. Joanna's Avatar. <laughs> It's our free guy, Susie. Um, I feel like it might be called um, like rain. Like you can just okay rain, rain. around, you know? Rain. Yeah, because it rains in a tropical rainforest, right? First of all. Second of all, you want to rain. You want to become the top player. Okay. But also you can be your own like rain. 
<laughs> I'm gonna act like I know what you're talking about, but yeah, no, I think rain's an okay title. It's one of the moments that it makes sense in my head. Yeah, but this whole thing is like you just putting your ideas into, yeah. into the world. So why not? Guard. Yeah, yeah. If I had time to plan this, I would have come up with like a. I would have got your PowerPoint presentation on that on that wall. <laughs> Uh, is there any quirky side quests? So sometimes in games, like you have sort of your free play and then your main storyline, but sometimes there's little quirky side quests. Like on Skyrim, when I used to play it, you could go off and find literally anyone in the world and you can get married to them, for example. Go, you have to go oh. to the chapel and get married and things like that. So is there any like, different side quests that you could do on your island? Oh, wow. I need to turn my creative mindset on. What would I like to do if I was in a rainforest? Maybe like, maybe like, you know, like go ape. Oh yeah. You can do like stuff like go ape. Yeah. You can do, and then maybe just like, you know, go on dates, like you said, and like bowling and. <laughs> 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 Sorry. When we're thinking about rainforest, I'm thinking like, oh, I'd like to, you know, go ape's great. And then I was thinking, Oh, you could get collect all the minerals to like make your own house and build it and oh, things wow. like that. But yeah. you've gone straight to you're going to a bowling alley, <laughs> which would be in the middle of the rainforest. Yeah. Okay. You know, I always say there's no limit when you're playing games. There isn't. It's no. just, this is all your idea, so anything's possible. Exactly. So okay, so maybe we get the bricks, we can build our own bowling alley. Mm -hmm. Yeah. For the for the day. Yeah, and you go on like you can go on like a cruise or yeah. like a boat trip. Uh, what's the rapids? You know, like when you do like there's gonna be um, I was going to say a fountain. <laughs> Definitely a waterfall. A waterfall. And then you could go on the rapids and yeah, stuff. Yeah, exactly. You go sailing. Yeah. Yeah, just like, you can do what you want. Okay, in there. love that. What is the theme tune? So it could be a song that's already out. Yeah. You know when the game begins and you're going to have like the opening sequence, what would your theme tune be for your... Do you know what? I actually really love this song, an old song. It's, I think it's called I Still Love Your Boots. I don't know if you've heard of it. I still love your boots. Yeah, it's called, I still love you. Uh, uh, uh. Either way, that is a really cool, upbeat song. And yeah. whenever I hear it, I'm like, oh, like adventure time, you know? Yeah. Yeah, so maybe that song. Okay. It's a really old song. Even I showed it to my dad and he was like, I don't know what song that is. I, I will have to listen to it on yeah. Spotify. I probably would know. Yeah, it's cool. If you could have, so imagine the game's ready. Yeah. It's done, it's ready to be released and you're going to do like an ads campaign to roll it out. Yeah. What three famous people, they could do any, any profession, would you have in your like ad campaign to roll it out? Three. Like famous people. Famous people. Oh. Yeah. Oh, do you know what? I know who this is gonna be. Oh my gosh, yes, yes, yes. This I, I've prepped this question because I've actually, someone said to me, if you were to go on a dinner with like 10 oh, yeah, people, that question, yeah. who would it be? And I sat there and thought, I don't know who it'd be. Megan The Stallion. She I'm, loves gaming as well. I'm so, obsessed with her. Yeah. So I went to this festival for a job and I saw her perform and I thought, wow, you were up there with one of the best performers I've ever seen. She's great. I've seen her yeah. at Glastonbury. She was really good. She's sick. So Megan Thee Stallion, um, what's his name? Ollie from Years and Years. Oh yeah, I love him. Obs he's one celebrity I need to meet. Like I'm obsessed with him. Like I need to meet him in person. Yeah, I like him. And then the last person would be probably Amanda Bynes. Look, I know situations have changed over the years. However, her character in um, She's the Man, She's the Man, is yeah, like that movie. I'm obsessed with it. Do you remember the Amanda Show? The, exactly, the Amanda Show. Amanda, she's Amanda, the Man. Amanda, Amanda, Amanda. Yeah, Great Amanda, show. Amanda Show. Show. And what did she say at the end of it? She goes, Amanda, please. <laughs> <laughs> Amanda, please. I just love it. Great show. Even like that's so Raven as well. Yeah, that's so Raven was great. Yeah. There's just quite a few people I'd like to have on there, but maybe- Maybe in your ad campaign. Though. Yeah. Oh my God. And then maybe like when it gets even bigger, like 2.0, we then push for more. The sequel. Yeah. I like that. Maybe like whack in like, I don't know. Mm, maybe like Channing Tatum. He's got to come in somewhere, hasn't he? He was in Free Guy, so he's already kind of involved See? in the gaming thing. Exactly. Okay. Just love them all. Love that. What a great world. I can't wait to play rain yeah. in the forest. It's going to be fun playing bowling and... Yeah, go bowling in the rainforest. <laughs> <And> sailing. <laughs> With Susie. <laughs> With Susie. <laughs> and uh, whoever else is in there. Love it. Yeah. Okay, so that's your game. Yeah. We always do this thing where we compare different games consoles to like objects or foods and things like that. Today I wanted to do 
if games consoles were Love Island contestants. Yeah. So <laughs> it could be past like recent ones, past contestants. We're gonna go through each one and say okay. which Love Island contestant that would be. So let's start with the Nintendo Switch. Okay. So if the Nintendo Switch was a Love Island contestant, who Ooh. would you say they are? So the Nintendo Switch is handheld. You can play it on a plane or when it's you're traveling. Blue but and red. You, yeah, the blue and red controllers, but you can plug it into a TV and it can be played like a proper co- console as well. So okay. versatile. Oh, someone who's versatile then. Mm. Oh, this is hard. I feel like as well with Nintendo games, they're quite cartoony. Yeah. So you've got Mario, you've got Mario Kart, Zelda, Wii Sports, things like that. Maybe, maybe I'll go with KD. Just okay. because when you say cartoon eyes, I think she'll make a beautiful cartoon. <laughs> I think she actually would. And she's versatile. She's got so many skills. I mean, she does her own home account, this and that, like modeling. She does a lot of stuff. Yeah. So I think KD. KD McDermott. Yeah. I like that. Love you, KD. Uh, next one, <laughs> let's do the PS5. So okay. the most Ooh. recent PlayStation model. It's quite modern. Yeah. A lot of people want it. I, I don't know if anyone can still get it but anyway when it first released not everyone could get the playstation yeah. 5 it was very in demand i know it it's got a jordan haynes i oh. feel like it's like not everyone get away with his fashion sense like he dresses sick he dresses yeah, cool he it's very like the cool way of dressing nowadays yeah and i feel like he's smashed it so i kind of feel like that's ps5 it's gotta be gotta be he likes gaming as well jordan. exactly do you know what I like? I love Jordan's TikToks and his like creative stuff. <laughs> yeah, him and Perry from Diversity, very cool fashion sense. I they like are, it. Aren't they? Yeah, but even like I don't know how he thinks of some ideas as well because I'm very like okay, I do one cool thing and I'm like okay, I na- now need a year to just think of a new one. <laughs> but he's like every single bit of content is like a new creative thing, new creative thing. It's crazy. Yeah. Do you I know what's with me with fashion like? I'll have a vision and then it will come down to it and I'll just wear a tracksuit. Well, this is the thing. So I like, I want to be comfy. <laughs> yeah. Or you see someone wearing it, you're like, oh my God, I could wear that. I want to wear it. So you get it and then it just looks nice in person, but you try getting content or a picture in it and it looks horrendous on a camera. Yeah. It's like you can't win really, can you? Can't win. No. Okay, Jordan Hames for the PlayStation yes. 5. Let's do the Xbox 360. Okay. Which I think arguably you could ask the Xbox audience, but that was the best console yeah i even had an xbox 360 and i'm i've always had playstations really well it's mad because when the xbox was probably the most popular yeah it was around PS5, that era yeah to be fair. i had no intention of playing it but the minute the ps5 came out i was like oh what is that like let me get my hands on it maybe it's because the shape and stuff as well yeah the way it sits a lot cool. of people either team playstation or team xbox sometimes it's to do with the, the games some yeah of them, like with halo for example it's a very xbox game but playstation have like different games well i did see on your other podcast that um one of the other episodes that apparently someone who plays the xbox uh the study which yes. yeah it actually like on my wow. tiktok went semi-viral they apparently xbox players are better in bed yeah that's mad mm. You have to start asking people when you meet them. So you uh, were yeah, on curiosity. a first date. <laughs> do you game? Just uh, what console have you got? Curiosity, Xbox or PS5? Go on, you tell me. Like no judging around here, but I just want to know. Yeah. Um, right. So if someone was the Xbox. Yes. Mm. Oh, oh, I don't know. It's it's got to become like you've got to think about the positives, otherwise it becomes offensive. What is it? Because the Xbox 360 is the like it's elite. It's an elite Xbox console. Okay. It's a good console. Oh. And it's not the most current or the most recent, but it's going to go down in history. Like, it's a legacy console. Oh, okay. Oh, I don't know. This is really hard. May, do you know what? Maybe we have to say Molly May, just okay. because she's not been on the most recent Love Island. Yeah. But what she's done has been amazing and crazy. And I don't think anyone else has done what she has. Yeah. So I'd say that. Love yeah. that. Molly May, yes, the Xbox 360. Okay, let's do the Game Boy. Okay. So Game Boy, I had when I was young, had Pokemon, the, the original Pokemon. Yeah. I had Tetris, Mario on it, Kirby's Dream Land, okay. loads of games. Mm-hmm. A great handheld, and it's handheld console. Handheld console. Yeah. Someone small, handheld. 
portable, mobile, mobile okay. classic. It's not. Classic. It's an old console, so it's not mm. like a new thing. So it doesn't mean we have to be old, but because it's like older, but it's classic. Maybe. Oh, okay, right. I'm trying to think of like an older series, but like a classic moment. The first couple of series. That's what I'm thinking. Maybe. Um, is her name Hannah? Hannah Elizabeth. Oh yeah. Yeah. With, um, John. Like, John. With John. Was with it John? John? Yeah. The John? first was series one, wasn't it? Classic. Great. Gotta be. Yeah. That is like I don't know about the whole handheld and portable business, but I'm she's classic, like and just memorable. Yeah. Oh, that's a good word. Memorable. What, what console would you be? If I, okay, I would probably be. Oh, um, oh, I don't know. I'd like to think I'm a, I like to think I'm a PS5, okay. but I'm probably not. Maybe. The PS2 is the best console ever, so you could be the PS2. PS2. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I am the just PS2. Gave it to you. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for that. I was gonna say PS4, just because I'm not like the newest. But I'm you're kind still of quite new. Like people still play you. Yeah, I'm still around. <laughs> yeah. You know, I'm still here. I'm still working. Yeah. yeah. Well, my PS2 still works, not gonna lie. I've just been playing Guitar Hero. I'd say I'm gonna go with PS4 just because PS2, okay, that is, that is quite old. Right, I don't wanna say that. Well, so I'm the PS2, probably. Are you PS2? No, I wouldn't say you're a PS2. No, I'm the Sega Mega Drive, I'm that old. No, I'd say you're like a. I'd say you're like Nintendo Switch. Okay. You're like cool, quirky, you've got the blue, you've got the red on the other side. You can, there's like this weird thing, you can like take stuff off and put it back on, can't yeah, you? Yeah, the joystick. Do you see what I mean? <laughs> Okay, yeah. I'll accept that. <laughs> Joystick. Are you like are you immature? Yeah. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Once Joanna starts <laughs> laughing, she won't stop either for about five minutes. I've actually thought I've actually kept it together this whole I know. time. Yeah. And this one moment. Just the joystick. The joystick. joystick. You, yeah. yeah. Okay. It just it's quite funny. <laughs> <laughs> if you could play one game for the rest of your life, what would you play? Like you were on a desert island Ooh. and you had to play one game. And you wouldn't get bored of it. Desert Island, one game. Mm. Oh, this, this is hard because there's so many. My one's The Sims. The Sims. Because you can make, it's what you make of it. You can come up with storylines. And if you're bored of your life on there, you can create a new one. I exactly. get it. Yeah. yeah. I've actually not really played Sims, to be honest with you. The only time I've played Sims is probably with you and maybe with like a friend one day. Oh. That's been it. So I should venture out and play a bit more. Yeah. I would probably say... Probably Monopoly. No, because then you get bored of Monopoly. Mm. Round and round in circles the whole time. Fortnite could be all right. Like been in jail quite a few times. You know, I'm sick of jail. Okay, maybe Fortnite, just because the, you can't get bored of the colors, the swimming, the different characters, like the storm, you want to beat the storm. I don't know. Yeah. I'd say Fortnite, okay. yeah. I bet you get really good if you're playing it for the rest of your life. I think I would. I have got, like, even last night, I went downstairs to check if the PS5 was there. I was gonna play like Call of Duty. I was like, well, let me just see but my brother had it instead. So I reckon I could get into it. You should. Yeah. You can, if you get a Switch, you can even play Fortnite on that. It's not yeah. as good, but. But we want to go PS5 vibes. Yeah, yeah. proper. Definitely. If you're gonna do it, do it proper. 100%, I'd say, yeah, I'd say that. Amazing. Mm. All right, well, thank you for joining me. Thank you. It's been great. We have bonded over, <laughs> I mean, we already knew each other anyway, but I hope everyone has got to know Joanna a bit more and yeah. her gaming, well you, were, well, you were an adventurer. Yeah, I'm an adventurer. Mm -hmm. So if anyone sees me out in the street, just just shout adventurer. And I'll just, I'll wave, I'll do the queen wave, you know, that yeah. vibe. Love it. Yeah, love it. Well, thank you for having me. It's all right. Well, I'll see you soon. You've yeah. got to come back on my YouTube and we need to game. Absolutely. Let's do Sims. Let's play The Sims. Yeah. Elle's teachers, Joanna, playing The Sims. Yeah. It's sorted. All right. It's a deal. All right. Thank you everyone for listening as well. And I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.